Hey guys, welcome back to another Mirage video. Uh, today we're going to be going over controls. Just a little disclaimer before we start. I have a Thrustmaster Warhog. Um, mine might be laid out a little bit differently than yours. You might not be able to buy as much, or you might be able to buy more. Just know that I have a, I have a Warhog. You guys might have something different. Alright, so before we start, I'm going to show you my HOTAS layout. Then I'm going to show you the actual Mirage's layout. All right, let's go into the controls. Make sure you have Mirage selected. We're gonna do joystick first and then throttle. So let's get right into it. Magic Slave, AG Designate, what this does, uh, if you're doing close combat and you have your Magics, which is your Fox 2 selected, um, this is how you uncage the Seeker Head. Then AG Designate, if you're doing uh, CCIP bombing, so Mark 82s or GBUs, you use this to point a reference on the ground so you get bomb accurately. Next, we're going to go into trim. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, you really don't need to use rudder trim in the Mirage, it's pretty good. Alright, we're going to go into sensors. Weapon system command forward. Uh, this is your bore sight, and it toggles between your vertical scans. So, all you have to do is push it again for vertical scan. Command aft, this is your horizontal scan. Uh, magic unlock. So, if you're using your magic for close combat, this is just a sensor for a bigger scan area to lock a target. And then weapon system command depress, this unlocks a target. So say you lock them up with your radar, or if you lock them up with a, like a bore sight, this is how you unlock them. We're going to go into weapons next. Source 2, this selects your Fox 1s, so your Super 530. CNM Magic, your Fox 2, so your Magic. CNM AA Gun, your air-to-air -air gun. Uh, do not get this confused with the air to ground gun. CNM neutral, uh, this gets you out of the weapons and puts your HUD back into um, navigation mode. Going down from there, countermeasures, so decoy program release. Uh, if you have program 5 selected, that will be how you release that. Panic release, so say someone fires on you and you don't know what it is, that's when you use panic release. It could be, sorry, it will do three flares and three chaff. Jammer activate slash standby. This is your planes, planes ECM. I also have uh, my waypoints bound to this switch right here. Next waypoint and previous waypoint. You don't really need those two bounded. Um, it's just it's a little bit easier, so I don't have to like click on the the actual hut or cockpit for it. Uh, working to the front portion of the joystick. Master arm toggle. Uh, this is the primary uh, safety. It is not your gun safety, it's just primary for your missiles, your bombs, whatnot. Weapon fire bomb release. Uh, this releases every weapon you have. So it fires your rockets, it does your guns, does your missiles, and does your bomb. Nose with steering slash IFF, that's um, pretty important to have. Then your uh, I have a pinky paddle. G limiter mode toggle. I would recommend having this binded if you can. It's so you can actually um, toggle between air to air and air to ground G limit. Um, a little bit more explanation or in depth about this. If you have bombs on and you're in air to air mode, you might rip them off because your air to air G's are higher than the actual plane's uh, air to ground G limit. So I would flip that to air to ground. That way you don't rip the bombs off unless you need to, like in an emergency situation, so you can't jettison. All right, throttle portion. Same thing, we're going to work to top, uh, to the bottom. Radar range increase, so you can push your radar out, see what's further in front of you. Radar range decrease, so you can bring the radar back. Uh, radar antenna up, so you can uh, point the antenna up. And radar antenna down, so you can depress the antenna and scan low. TDC depress, so when you move your TDC cursor on your radar, just how you can lock a target. Gun arm toggle, this is the actual safety switch for the gun. Uh, I have formation lights and navigation lights toggled. I have a little pinky switch or yeah, pinky paddle. I can toggle between those. Alright, going to the thumb portion, uh, going down the side of my throttle. Air brake on, else off. Uh, this is personal preference. There's multiple air brake toggle or bindings. You can do air brake on or air brake off, sorry, air brake on 
air brake toggle. Uh, the reason why I have this, so air brake on, if I pull back on the on the button, it pulls out the, the air brake, and then once I release it, it instantly puts it back down. So say you pull it out for like a split second and release it. This is personal preference. That's how I rather have it. SCT slash TWS. Uh, this is your uh, PID and your pick and your Mirage. Autopilot disconnect. Um, disconnect your autopilot. Then it exceed elastic uh, limit. Think of the Hornet with like how you have the over G uh, or yeah the over G. It's kind of like that, but it's not like that where you do it as long as possible. This is just like a temporary where you can like point the nose up super quick or pull G real quick. All right, moving to the actual base portion of my throttle. Radar B scope. So by default, the radar's uh, display is that cone shape. If you do not like that and you're used to like the NATO style like square radar display, that's what B scope is. Uh, VTB viewport. It's that little radar repeater in your visor, so it's kind of like the HMD uh, radar repeater. Autopilot. Autopilot approach hold. And autopilot altitude hold. Drag shoot deploy. So say you land on a super short runway and you need to stop real quick. That's what you use a drag shoot for. Slats extend. Slats auto. Uh, you really don't need extend that often. You can leave the plane in auto uh, for the majority of it. I use extend maybe for like if I'm really slow I need to do a landing. And then I have one more binded to the base. In flight start switch. So say you're inverted for more than 20 seconds for whatever reason, say you're showboning and your uh, fuel pumps still have enough uh, pickup so your engine cuts out. This is how you relight like the engine. Alright, let's get into the axis. Alright, pitch and roll. I'm going to show you the, um, my tune. This is for the pitch. This is for the roll. Then TDC slew, uh, this is for your radar cursor. This is for horizontal. And this is for vertical. Then thrust, um, it's a single engine so you don't need um, multiple axes for this. I don't have a team for that but I'll show you anyways. And then zoom view, I have a a little scroll wheel, I guess you could say, or a slider. So that's what I use for zooming in. Then rudder. Uh, that's my axis and dead space for the rudder. Alright guys, hopefully this video is helpful for you, and happy flying. Later.